Hello everyone. My name is Ruksar Sheikh and today I will be demonstrating three experiments in this video. We'll start off with the first experiment which is a basic acid base reaction. These are the ingredients required for the reaction. We'll start off the experiment by adding baking soda in the balloon and filling the empty bottle with vinegar. Now I am going to put the balloon over the bottle and we'll observe what happens. Vinegar which is an acetic acid reacts with baking soda which is a base and what we see is a chemical reaction which generates sodium acetate, water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas and it's the chemical filling the balloon. Since carbon dioxide is a fire extinguisher, it blows off the candles. These are the effervescence of carbon dioxide gas released. Our next experiment is surface tension. These are the ingredients of this experiment. Surface tension is the property of a liquid that allows it to resist an external force due to the cohesive nature of the water molecules. This experiment demonstrates the property of surface tension and the effect that soap, a surfactant, has on the surface tension of milk. When we add liquid dish soap to milk, with drops of food coloring on the surface, the soap reduces the surface tension of the milk and reacts with the fat. This interaction causes the fat particles in the milk to move and create beautiful swirls of color. Our last experiment is capillary action. These are the ingredients required. We'll start the experiment by adding the food color into the water. Now we'll immerse the white rose into this colored water. Water moves through the plants by means of capillary action which is a movement of water within the spaces of a porous material due to the forces of cohesion adhesion and surface tension. Capillary action helps to prevent roots, stems, leaves and flowers from drying and wilting and also to carry dissolved nutrients throughout the plant. Now we'll see the results of this experiment. These are the results of this experiment. Thank you.